Thank you for choosing APEC Reverse Osmosis Systems. We build the finest drinking water systems in America. In this video, we are going to install the reverse osmosis system by completing the tubing connections. Before the tubing connections can be made, the protective end plugs on the fifth stage carbon filter must be removed. To remove the end plug, push in and hold down on the collet ring surrounding the end plug. With the collet ring held down in position, use your other hand to remove the end plug from the fitting. Attach the clear tubing to the faucet adapter by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting. Gently pull on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. Attach the clear tubing to the stage 5 filter by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting already located in the filter housing. This connection uses a metal compression nut fitting, plastic sleeve, and insert that was included with the needle valve installation. Before connecting the tubing to the feed water adapter, you will need to assemble the compression nut fitting. Slide the compression nut through the red tube, followed by the plastic sleeve. Then place the insert inside the tubing. Connect the tubing with the assembled compression nut fitting to the needle valve adapter. Hand tighten the compression nut and use an adjustable wrench to ensure a secure connection. Now, attach the red tubing to the stage 1 pre-filter input by pushing the red tubing into the 90 degree elbow quick connect fitting. The discharge line is pre-installed on the system. Uncoil the black tubing and remove the red end cap. Now, connect the black tubing by inserting it into the drain saddle and test the connection. Attach the yellow tubing to the fifth stage filter's T fitting by pushing the tubing into the quick connect fitting. Please note, if the unit comes with the UV light, connect the yellow tubing to the T fitting on the UV, as the stage 5 filter will not have a T fitting. Next, we are going to assemble the tank to complete installation. Apply 6 to 8 wraps of Teflon tape to the tank's metal stem. Then screw the tank ball valve onto the tank stem. The 4 gallon tank comes pre-charged. Please do not add or release air from the tank during installation. You can now connect the yellow tubing to the tank ball valve. If you want to connect the purified water from the reverse osmosis system to your ice maker, you will need a T fitting, extra quarter inch tubing long enough from the RO system to your ice maker, and a shutoff valve. Before connecting the purified water tube, please add a T fitting to divert purified water to both the ice maker and the faucet. Open the line to the ice maker after the first tank has been discarded and the second tank has completely filled. For the RO system to feed your ice maker only, it is still recommended to connect the RO faucet as a second outlet. This allows you to drain the tank and flush the new filters through the faucet rather than your ice maker line. If your RO is feeding multiple output points, ice maker, two sinks, bathroom, etc., additional shutoff valves to each output line is recommended for future maintenance. Turn on the feed water slowly from your cold water supply. Turn on the needle valve counterclockwise to allow the cold water supply to enter the system. Check for water drips at the connections. Turn on the tank's ball valve to allow water into the tank. The tank's valve is on when the valve handle is parallel, in the same direction with the valve's outlet. Check for any water drips at the connections. When the tank is full, the RO will automatically shut off. Please allow a few hours for the tank to fill completely and drain once or twice before usage. Water flow out of the drinking faucet will be low until the tank fills. Drain the tank by turning the faucet lever into the on position. The tank will dispense water faster than the unit produces water, so the feed water line can stay open or closed while draining the tank. Let the tank refill again, as the next batch of pure water will be ready for use. Lastly, allow the system to run while cleaning up tools and your work area. Please continue to monitor for water drips. Make sure there is no water coming out at the connection joints, fittings, housings, and tubing connections. 
Congratulations, you have successfully installed the reverse osmosis system.